हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू टी कप टारो माय नेम इज रेया एंड इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बी टेकिंग अ लुक एट व्हाट्स कमिंग अप फॉर यू नेक्स्ट इन द अपकमिंग 10 डेज व्हाट्स डेस्टिनी व्हाट डज योर फ्यूचर लुक लाइक वी आर गोइंग टू बी लुकिंग इनटू ऑल ऑफ इट टुडे व्हेन इट कम्स टू पिकिंग द पाइल दैट इज मोस्ट फॉर यू यू कैन ऑफ कोर्स पिक फ्रॉम द अमेजिंग इमेजेस दिस हैपेंस टू बी वन ऑफ माय पोस्ट फेवरेट डेक्स or of course the feathers or one of these beautiful crystals whichever calls to you and if more than one pile calls to you my friends it's absolutely okay for you to pick from that as well i'll give you some time and then we start with pile 1 Hello and if you've selected pile 1 then let's take a look for you I love your pile okay just to begin with because this image reminds me that you're strong pile 1 you have the talent you have the ability and you are sort of the lone wolf okay you sort of rule wherever you are and that's your energy right now and in a way you know i feel like there are two sides to your personality when you want to be good you are going to be good and when you feel like you need to draw boundaries you're going to be doing that because you're very very attuned with yourself in the upcoming 10 days and you're coming into the best version of you yeah you very clear about certain things in your life and you're standing very strong behind it in the upcoming 10 days we'll have ever take a look at your tarot okay there is a possibility in the upcoming 10 days guys you guys are going to be a little bit nostalgic okay you may be missing the good old days and just you know thinking about it and sometimes you know certain places trigger that memory certain people trigger that memory uh, there is a possibility you may meet or connect with somebody from your past once again which makes you feel like you know very different you know the way we feel when we meet people who are like go 10 years back with us and in those relationships also i see a new beginning for you it's like things from the past continuing into the future in a good way so moving forward as i mentioned there is a lot of clarity like you're very crystal clear about what you want and the way you want to proceed and lot of ideas are brimming in your head you're very positive about the future okay that energy is strong and i also see certain god cuttings for you so if certain people don't speak to you don't speak to your energy you're not going to be afraid to tell them look stay away yeah that's the message and this also positive beginning when it comes to the secure aspect of your life so there's a possibility for you you could be you know redecorating your home or thinking about prospectively buying a new home somewhere or thinking about what your future secure life is going to be like you know money wealth all of those things because those things are really really prominently in your mind as well now there is an achievement coming for you okay and there's something that you wanted and you're getting it yeah there's not so much as a wish fulfillment but i wanted to be this and i'm becoming it you're proud of yourself okay and it really doesn't matter whether people are proud of you or not but i see that you know people are really proud of you in the upcoming 10 days as well please be a little bit careful about emotional instability however or anger issues because what is happening you know because you're so crystal clear in your energy anybody who comes with your path you're going to be like look you cannot do this you're standing very strong in the upcoming 10 days and you are very much in tune with your intuitions however please notice that certain uh, phases may make you feel a little bit irritated and if that happens you just need rest good food and a break okay because those are the prominent energies for you now I also feel the need for a little bit of relaxation for you okay the thing is you're very much in your head you're very very driven to do whatever that you're doing and hence a little bit of relaxation will help you because there is a possibility you may be burning the midnight lamp in certain instances which may leave you a little bit of low with energy yeah nurturing see when it comes to you you know you are sort of 
creating an empire for yourself and it's like the procedure is starting for you right now you know what you want you're true to your energy you're kind you're compassionate you're sensitive but you also know how to put boundaries a self care is very prominent for you so there is a possibility you may you know give yourself something that you wanted a massage a you know whatever trip to the spa but that nurturing quality of you is strong and there is also a possibility that you may take care of somebody else yes encouragement now when it comes to your life you know i feel like you are in need of little bit of encouragement and support so should you feel like you know okay now i'm all in my head i'm on my own if you need that encouragement then you need to give it to yourself okay if you're not comfortable taking it from somebody else yeah or there may be a person in your life specific who may need your encouragement so give that to that person so this actually goes both ways this may be associated with a person in your past okay self discipline you are going to be very disciplined i'm not only going to tell you here like you need to be because you are it yeah your energy is very very proper you're very clear about things however certain issues okay these are very very minor issues that you are just you know not sure about or you're like look i cannot handle this right now yeah and you're like okay i'm just going to take care of what i can and then when i can take care of other issues like i'm going to do that okay that's coming through now something that you need to know is the time that you're in or in your life you're being prepared for it for ages like you're born for this purpose yeah so wherever you are in your life you know you need to know that you've got this and that is the journey forward in your case god willing divine flow see in your life you know what is happening is in the past you've had multiple desires you wanted to do this you wanted to do that you wanted to go in that direction you wanted to go in some other direction but now it's like this divine will is present and it is taking you in a particular direction so for you what will happen now you know there is one particular desire which will overpower all the other desires in your life in finite abundance Yeah, security is strong in your life, guys. And the thing is, as you're moving forward, God willing, you're also uh, attracting more of that. So that's great energy. Uh, just be careful of little bit of anger on your end, which may be happening because you're very clear, and people may not be uh, manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So there's something that you've been trying to do. trying to manifest yeah and it's soon to become a reality deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right so when it comes to you guys you know you know the answer you know the answer very very clearly so now you've just got to act on it forgiveness yeah stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine so in your case you know there are some things in your past that may be coming back and you need to forgive if you can you may not always understand why certain things happen but there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed so what appears to be a turmoil for you or what appears to be out of place it actually belongs and you'll understand why look at that give thanks uh, for the blessing of love soon to come into your life and know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires okay so basically in your case you know the blessings of love true love are coming in and just open your heart to it okay tea leaf cards the most difficult part of the situation is over so if you have lately experienced difficulties the most difficult part is over good news isn't it both money or prosperity through an inheritance winning or windfall so money is coming through strongly okay god willing okay recognition reward for merit so you're getting recognized for something and it's because you deserve that recognition yeah and someone is behaving stupidly yes i feel like this is the person that you're losing your mind at 
yeah the little bit of conflict is like someone is like behaving the way they want to uh, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals so wherever you are you've got to increase your efforts slightly yeah just slightly i don't see this as much because uh, a change for the better is coming see the worst is behind you yeah so if you've gone through challenging circumstances it was for a reason and the worst is behind you lucky you a protection from a powerful friends so you've got to remember that you are like very very protected very protected light hearted carefree time so there's also possibility you're going to be spending some light hearted carefree time with someone you care about now let's take a look at your numbers and letters A, eighty-eight, twenty-six, eleven, N, W, G, J, number eight, R, G again, Q, and you have L. yeah but overall this is what i have for you for the upcoming 10 days and as always as i wrap this up i'm going to leave you with my best wishes i will see you next time bye hello and if you've selected pal 2 then let's take a look at what's in store for you for the upcoming 10 days sensitive energy is super sensitive energy so be very very careful guys okay there's a possibility that somebody may say something and it may hurt you even though you know that person may not mean it let's look into details okay yep all right so when it comes to you guys you know i feel like you're leaving certain situations behind situations that are sort of unsatisfactory or that make you feel a certain way it's like look i'm washing my hands of this matter and the thing with you is you know i feel like you need to take rest you need to withdraw because the thing is you need your most care at this point of time so please make sure you use this time to meditate to contemplate to do whatever it is that you want because you need to take it easy for the upcoming 10 days the thing with you is you know there are also certain new ideas coming to you there are certain new plans coming to you and you may be a lot in your head you may be overthinking in certain cases about your future yep yeah? that's really strong for you however remember the first half of the week may be slightly challenging and do the best you can to sort of just survive but after that you're coming out of the difficult times there is travel involved for you there is movement involved for you and there are better times involved yeah almost you know i feel like these two cards are very identical in their energy change yeah see i mean it's a very similar picture the thing is you know you have been in situations that have been very challenging very dark for you and your energy and now you're coming into light because the energy is smoothening out for you but you've got to help yourself you know because there's something with you that needs to be taken care of there needs to be healing which will happen for you in the upcoming 10 days so please remember as much as the as you can in the initial 10 day period you spend time with yourself to do things that make you happy instead of focusing your attention on another person or a group of people because that may be an ideal approach for you however as the week comes to an end you know i feel like this will be something around wednesday thursday onwards the energy is great you'll be able to work with people again you'll be able to socialize again you'll be able to work in sync with other people in a way that works for everybody because the change is definitely there yeah see whatever you're leaving behind you know you're leaving behind because you want a new life it's like look i need a new beginning for myself i need to trust myself i need to trust the process of my life this is a new you which needs to happen yeah movement there's a strong movement for you in life or thoughts that are happening and it's like you know you are the soul warrior here 
you're standing up for yourself you're like okay this is what i want to do for myself so the self is most important than other things in the upcoming 10 days communication so you've got to be very careful about the way you communicate because you probably aren't being very clear because of certain energies around you so be clear in your communication yeah because that needs to be emphasized for you and have faith have faith in the future because whatever the past has been or whatever the current situation is the future will be better you've got to believe it yeah a certain timing needs to occur for it you know it's almost like you know this woman is pregnant with something but after like the 9 month period complete the baby will be born and your new life will begin so that is the energy for you you have started to move you making the changes but for them to be concrete a little bit of time is there see what is happening for you you know you're breaking certain chains you're rewriting certain you know ancestral patterns and you're moving into the future you're also healing as i mentioned before what a beautiful card to come you need to remember in all of these changes that are happening in your life you're protected by angels and not only protected you're cherished by the angels they love you and in a way they surround you at all points of time yeah uh, now i really want to say something out here like especially uh, if you guys like get into the practice of sending the rood sharif or salawat on prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is an excellent practice for you especially to you know have those angels around you and to solve any problems because that is something that i completely and honestly believe in just do that with faith and you know you'll get the results god willing and letting go see in your life you know there's certain things that are out of control and they are out of control okay i feel like you feel that as well but when things are out of control you need to let god step in yeah don't control yourself because you don't have the capacity you just need to believe in god yeah and not yourself and then have faith that you can let go and god will take care of whatever it is that needs to be taken care of let's see messages from your relationships wait exactly Don't rush into anything because you're not ready for it. Not ready for it. Allow nature to take its course. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims; it simply allows and gives. So you need to sort of maintain some kind of distance between you and people in your life. You may want better, but that is not the right time because your energies itself are slightly sensitive, and the way you communicate may be slightly problematic. And you know, you need space. It's all about you. And look deep within your heart, and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. See, when it comes to relationships, you know, sometimes you just need to know that the other person loves you instead of always waiting for them to prove it to you. Yeah, look deep within your heart. You'll know the answer. Playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together, uh, and remember, love is the greatest healer. So, in your relationships as well, you know, you're taking things too seriously. When you've got to be playful, you've got to relax and give space, preferably transformative. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So, yeah. a uh, passion or magnetic seductive quality surrounds you at this present moment so this is stark distinction between the first half of the week and the second half so the second half promises to be so much better so you just have to hold on god willing for just a few days okay and never forget you are cherished by the angels the rood sharif salawat or it is popularly known as it's a great practice will help you god willing let's see your tea leaf cards an exciting event so something is going to happen that is going to make you really excited vacation yes you need a vacation you need a break just to spend time with yourself fair man dealing relationship with a man with blonde gray or white hair is going to be important so this man is playing an important role new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up so certain new portals are opening new possibilities for your future 
celebration, fun and enjoyment. So there are always going to be good times where you just have to celebrate and be happy. Getting together with friends. So yeah, you're also going to be getting together with friends, having a good time with them. Pay attention to your finances. You've got to be careful with money. Okay, because there's a possibility you may spend a little bit too much. Happiness. There's got to be happiness. Okay, just a couple of days, God willing, and you'll be fine. New home, new attitude. Now, when it comes to this change, you know, the things that you're leaving behind, this could also be the previous attitudes that you held. Or this could be like, you know, the energy of yourself and your home needs to be changing. Or you just need to change your home. That's the energy. It's not easy for everybody, but yeah, that's there. A new job or a career, there's a possibility that you may feel like you need a new job or a career. Yeah? So, you'll be looking into that. A career that sort of suits your energy is also coming through. L29 T Blank Tile 27 U Five T twenty seventy seven UP number six D I Y DIY you've got to sort of whatever needs to be done you've got to do it yourself or do something creative 24 and you have R yeah but overall this is what I have for you and as always as I wrap this up I'm going to leave you with my best wishes I shall see you next time bye Exit pile 3 let's take a look at what's in store for you for the upcoming 10 days You've got to keep things simple, guys, next 10 days. Don't try to sort of do anything complicated. Whatever you can, please do it. And if something is not for you, you can postpone it to another time. Yeah, your energies are really improving though. That much I'll tell you. Let's see, let's get clarity. Yep. Okay. All right. So basically in your case, you know what is happening? You are all mind. Whatever decisions you're taking, you're taking it using your mind. You're very clear about what you want in your life and you're willing to make the effort towards it in the upcoming 10 days. However, one thing that you need to be care of is your communication. You may be very direct, which is not a bad thing, but sometimes if the other person is sensitive, they may take it in another way. The thing with you is, you know, at this point of time in your life, you just want to be independent. You want to live your life. You want to become better yourself. So the energy is very focused on you making yourself better and accomplishing that you want to accomplish. You're also coming into a lot of wealth. Okay. And whatever you're working towards, you know, you're like, I'm going to do this myself. I'm going to do this on my own terms. You want to have some kind of social standing. You want some kind of recognition in society. Yeah, your lifestyle upgrade is what you're aiming for as well. Yeah, and I feel like you're successful in it, God willing, to a lot of extent. However, towards the mid part of the week, be careful about certain emotional ups and downs. Okay, there may be a possibility that you may feel a little bit lost or be like, you know, do I really want this? Do I really want that? Little bit of you know, those emotional energy is coming through, but that is temporary. And they shift again to the positive as the week comes to an end. There's also an invitation coming your way to try something, to accept something, to accept a new way of life that you've not been exposed to before. Yeah, this could be, you know, somebody calling you to attend a seminar. This could be somebody telling you like, look, why don't you do this? And then accepting their help. You sort of go into a different area of your life. But overall, you know, the weak energy is good. It's positive. Especially I feel like you'll do something fun over the weekend. This can maybe getting together with friends or just chilling out at home. But it's like you feel positive. Yeah, your week is ending on a good note. It's just that, you know, maybe a day or two, you'll feel that emotional instability. And when that happens, please remember to keep things simple.
okay now with you guys you know i feel like somebody is trying to teach you something there are some lessons that you need to learn because you need to become wiser in a particular area of your life you know this could actually be like you need to attend a seminar for it a webinar for it or have an actual like teacher teaching you but you've got to learn okay you've got to be a student in the upcoming 10 days and please make sure not to deviate from the norms yeah upcoming 10 days and the thing with you is you know you need to at a personal level reach a height of success and you cannot do it on your own you need somebody's support and that support is coming for you with the aid and assistance of that support you'll be able to manage to reach a point where you really want to and i feel like abundance is what you're aiming for yeah in the upcoming 10 days however i feel like you know your relationship with your parent or the relationship with your child may be an area of concern for you and you need to reflect on it yeah certain lessons need to be learned from these things yeah and be careful of certain emotional disturbances on your end gratitude now the thing with you is you know there are some things in your life that you need to be very very grateful for very grateful for it's a blessing that you have it this can be money this can be support or this could just be presence of somebody yeah be grateful for it be grateful for that presence in your life because as you become more grateful you will have more to be grateful for say yes see there are certain things coming in your direction and you would do well to say yes to them yeah of course every person gets to have a choice but it looks like it's something good your path now what is happening for you you know see we all have our paths to take okay we feel like we need to go in a particular direction but in the end god wants something for us and the prayer that you need to have is like god help me uh, take the path that you want me to take so it will make your future very very easy god willing of course yeah so you've got to trust in god and leave your fears and illusions at the doorstep so this is what it could be your fears your illusions which sort of may be coming into the area of your children or your parents whichever way this speaks to you fellow travelers see the thing with you is you know you have support in your life you've always had support in your life and you need to be grateful for it of course for it to grow but you know you're not alone that's the huge message here that is coming through let's take a look about your relationships okay new beginning all right so this is a new beginning in your life a new adventure awaits yeah uh, embrace it and live your dreams passionately so when it comes to you guys you know, there are certain new beginnings enjoy it friendships nurture the bronze of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve you've got to learn uh, how to be friends with whoever this person is that you care about uh, to close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can a love joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself so there's a chance in your life you know uh, wherever you are you may not be feeling exceptionally positive or the way you want to feel but regardless just a love joy to come in and feel joyful you know just feel happiness can be had anytime and healing so if you've had some kind of a disagreement with somebody that you love then imagine you and your relationship being healed yeah and surround yourself with those loving energies my beloved uh, though may be baby physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing so in your case you know even though you may be like physically apart from your beloved you know it's fine nothing is missing right let's take a look at a tea leaf news of a birth or a new business opportunity so there's a possibility there's going to be you know a new business starting up for you or a new opportunity plenty of material things so materially i feel like there's a lot coming in you want it in your life as well keep your life in balance which is exactly why i was telling you you know keep it simple do what you can 
and rest you've got to leave it to another day next and emotionally secure loving family is important to you so in your case you know i feel like the conflict that happens between you your parents or you and your child is see your need is to have an emotionally secure loving family and maybe uh, you are not getting it in a way that you want so that could be an issue news is on the way some kind of news is on the way for you you'll be playing a different role so you're going to be playing a different role and taking a vacation yeah keep it simple you need a break as well okay so during the weekend please do that and perseverance so if there's something that you want to accomplish even though it may come to you slow and steady because you're still finding your footing in the world you've got to know that you've got this and there's a path waiting for you but it's divinely intended and you are on the road to success so whatever you're doing you're not on the wrong path that i feel like it's a massive yes and happiness you deserve happiness happiness will come to you what for let us in numbers and we wrap up with that 16 22 23 u d 27 a 25 e u a e okay l you have 1 y 19 you real okay so if somebody is trying to get into one of these universities then good luck i feel like that will happen you have ali and you have q h s l again and you have p yeah but overall this is what i have for you and as always as i wrap this up i'm going to leave you with my best wishes i'll see you next time bye